It was Hollywood's infancy, when just a gesture or a glance was enough to light up the silver screen. A time, as Gloria Swanson once famously quipped, when stars had faces. You're Norma Desmond. Used to be in silent pictures, used to be big. I am big. It's the pictures that got small. I thought she was mad. But Norma Desmond might have felt right at home at this premiere last week. The film getting all the attention was a quirky against the odds project entitled The Artist. Not only is it in black and white, but it's wordless, as in silent. Action! But this was shot in the Hollywood of today, with every high-tech sound recording device simply turned off. No one shouting quiet on the set. No, no, it was... <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the artist is the brainchild of French director Michel Hassanavicius. Telling stories without words, he says, was a fantasy, the purest form of movie making. Really, it's about images. I mean, you don't need dialogue. People think it's intellectual in a way, but it's exactly the opposite. I mean, it's very sensorial. Uh, it's a very uh, sensual experience. But selling silence in a town where avatars and transformers roam the studio backlots is no easy task. When you went to people and said, I want to make a silent movie. Well, at first they were smiling. Like they thought you were kidding? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, okay, you want to do that. Yeah, okay, but what you want, what do you want to do for real? He was for real. The script he wrote is about a silent movie star named George Valentin, played by French actor Jean Desjardins, complete with a sidekick. John Goodman plays Valentin's boss, a studio executive desperate to modernize by branching into talkies instead. What was it about this role that, that attracted you? Playing a big shot. <laughs> Without lines. Since there was no scripted dialogue, he and all the actors just made it up, acting out loud, even though the audience would never hear a word. Because if I screwed up the dialogue that I was improvising, who cares? <laughs> you didn't have to memorize the thing. Less work for Dad. <laughs> Me like. <laughs> Not that it was easy. James Cromwell, who plays Valentin's loyal chauffeur, says on the silent screen, overacting is far too easy. The uh, difficulty for an actor is that you have no reference as to where to pitch your performance. Usually we gauge it by hearing ourselves speak. This, you have to rely completely on your facial expressions and your gestures. And of course, the music, which becomes almost a character itself. It helps set the mood for what becomes a love story between Valentin, whose star begins to fade, and his beautiful chorus girl, who soon finds her voice in the talkies. Bring Pepe Miller to life, Berenice Bijot, the director's wife, spent hours studying classic Hollywood legends like Marlena Dietrich. I used to watch all the way she winks and she smokes cigarettes and <laughs> hold her head and move just because I needed to have a sense of what it was to be an American movie star. But perhaps even the best movie star of old couldn't have done quite so much with a coat rack. Even her husband director was shocked. I was like trying stuff and I said, oh, I could do. <gasps> and he said, oh, I keep that. That is so funny. Funny and charming. Those are the two words most often used to describe this film. It's gotten rave reviews at the film festivals in Cannes, Toronto, and Telluride. In fact, some people are even talking Academy Award. The last time a silent movie won an Oscar, it was the very first Oscar ever given. Wings, all the way back in 1927. I feel blessed to have this film to watch. You know, it was so much fun. It was made it look so easy. Yeah, I mean, Kenneth Turan, the LA Times film critic, sees just one downside of the artist. The hardest thing about this film is to convince people that they're going to like it. 
I've been telling people about it for months, and you can tell by the look in people's eyes. They say, yeah, yeah, you say it's good, but uh, it's a silent film. I'm not going. That would be a shame. Silence, says the director, has so much to offer. When you want to tell to your wife you, you love her, for example, I mean, you can say, I love you. But if you just stop and you just look at her, something happens with no words. And I think it's usually it's, it's more powerful. Which is why we'll stop talking now, too.